Today we are going to talk about set operators in serious shoes. Okay, when we are talking about the set operators, we have three different uh, kind of set operators: accept, intercept, inter and union. Okay, union. First we will look into union, which is simple, and then we can uh, talk about this uh, accept and intercept. Okay, what is union? Union is used to merge the result sets of all queries. For example, to understand better, let's go into the system and uh, we will look into the scenario. Uh, or else, uh, while creating the CDS view itself, we can learn it. It's uh, easy. It's not too difficult to understand. So let me create a new CDS view. Okay, new data definition. Uh, G I underscore let's meet underscore A C doka underscore one. So I'm now I'm going to create one CDS view entity on A C doka table. Okay, example on union and set operators. Let's create this one. I am taking view entity and then click on finish. So we are trying to understand the smallest concepts first. So once we are clear with all the basic functions and operators and everything, then we can look into the complex, uh, you know, kind of operations. Now I am going to take data from AC Docker table. So that's the reason I am giving AC Docker here. Now I need to provide the columns information. Now, so which columns I am going to take? I already taken in one example. So these are the columns that I want to take from AC Docker table. Okay. So let's take this AC Docker. So these are all from AC Docker, and this is a company code currency global. These are the two key figures. That's why we given the currency code also. Uh, corresponding currency you know, mentioned to it. We already learned how to provide all these things. Now let's go to the backend table. This is my AC Docker table. In my AC Docker, I have around 2,300 entries are there. Okay. In this, I have company codes. You see, I can see out of this uh, 2, 2 point, you know, 2,000 k records, uh, I have around 18 different company codes are there. Now I don't want all this data. I want data of 12, 1,200 company code only. In that case, what we can do, we can write here where condition where RPUKRS is equal to uh, what is this? 1200. Okay, 1200 I am giving here. And then click on uh, activate. And let's see the data preview. Once activated, go here, look for data preview. We have four records are there for 1200 company code. Okay, now the requirement is apart from 1200, for example, this is one data. So this data is coming from AC Docker table. So you are getting 1200 record, uh, four records for company code. If you have a different data set, means if you have some other table, from there also you need similar columns. Okay, similar means uh, before going to this one, I will tell, let me tell you one small thing which makes more clear about this topic. Um, uh, how we perform union and to perform union, how will be the data set is. That is important. So we already learned about join condition, right? For example, if I have a uh, sales document number, date, material and quantity, for example, or else company code. Let's take company code first. And then material, quantity, unit. So these are my columns. And we did, uh, we have another table called company code master data where we have company, company code and then description, company code text. Okay, so we, we perform join operation on these two tables to bring the company code text into our result set. Okay, so for example, uh, this is my initial uh, primary table and this is my secondary table. From secondary table, I am bringing company code text and then I am creating a new data set with all my required fields. So since I am fetching only required columns from the second data set, here I am performing the join operator. Okay, but when coming to union operator, what is union? combining two data sets okay it means um, if you have a data set like this for example this data set is fetching data from us okay and you have another table with the same structure 
another table with the same structure that is important here how many columns are there six columns so another table also with six columns is there with the same structure but this is getting data from india okay now you need a consolidated data set okay for example let's say this is table one not same table that is important this is table one and this is table two now you want to merge data from table one and table two and prepare a new data set then in this scenario we use union okay union is primarily used to combine two data sets of a similar structure this is very important for example if you have this field in here then this is not a similar structure okay then in that case you need to write select statement in a properly okay for example if this field is missing then also you cannot combine these these two data sets you yeah you we can combine by making something constant here we need to create some extra dummy column here keeping something constant and then we can combine so before doing union we must make sure the two data sets have similar structure okay that's point the point i want to highlight here now this is uh, because we don't have two ac docker tables or one more ac docker kind of table here uh, what i am going to do to explain this scenario i am taking again considering ac docker table only so here we write union keyword union is a keyword and then we need to write one more select statement like this but uh, my requirement is to combine 1200 company code data with 7401 company code data okay so instead of 1200 here i am going to provide 7401 okay so it is showing some syntax errors here so what is that syntax error let's see it is saying something here Annotations are not allowed in this branch. It means when you performing the uh, union on the second one, you know, second data set, no need to explicitly maintain the currency. It is, that's what it is saying. Because this is of similar structure. So the output structure already system is defining from the first un, first set. Here itself, SAP is defining the output structure, data type and everything. So from the second data set onwards, if you provide the data, that is enough. But the data types must match for example uh, just to give a try i am moving my company code to the first column and this to the second column you see uh, i am getting error message here so what it is saying <coughs> problematic alias or column name bukrs in union 2 is of not same as rdlnr what it is saying here it is rldnr but here it is you are using a different name rbukrs okay so both are i am not supposed to use it let's say for example as uh, okay the don't thing but uh, you know uh, i don't want to make it complex because we are in starting point so we must have the names also must match between these two okay so on the first data set how you are naming providing naming convention same naming convention you have to provide here for example for rb i am reading as comp underscore code okay then immediately i need to make sure in on my second data set also i have the same name or else system won't allow okay and system will check for the data data types also for example here i have a, a numeric value and if i have a characteristic text here then also system will uh, you know warn you that um, those are not uh, you know same data types on those two data sets okay such kind of checks the system can perform now uh, our requirement is we are a union we are performing union of 1200 data set with 7401 now let's activate this right click open with data preview Oops. Now we can see 7401, 1200, both, uh, both the company codes information, I can see it here. So now coming back to here, union is, a, if you can see, A is one data set, B is one data set, and both coloring here mentioning, when we want to combine both data sets and show it as an output, then we use union. Now come for the uh, accept, okay, what is accept? It means you have one data set A, and we have one data set B, and the records which are matching you know how to say this one so um, 
or A data set, if any record is matching with B, then you don't want to bring that data. Means only unique records from A, which are not part of B, we want to see. Okay, no? so let's see how uh, with an example to understand better. Now to explain this particular scenario, we need to take one proper data set. Uh, let's take this. Let's comment out or no this data. We you know how to provide comments. So I commented this data, and then let's go to the back end. Uh, if I take in 1200 company code, let's see the global currency and the transaction currency how it is. So these are the records. Um, HSL, KSL, these are the two which I am taking here. Where is HSL? This is HSL, this is KSL. Let's see. Okay, very good. Um, now, next what we are going to do is, uh, let's take instead of, you know, one company code, let's take these three company codes. Okay. Go here, provide filter on these three company codes. I got 18 records. Okay, now let's sort this HSL to understand my values. Now, if you see here, there are negative values, there are positive values. Okay, now what I am going to do is uh, 700, uh, what is uh, three company codes, right? 7400, 7401, 402, and 1200. Four company codes are there. So let's write that one. Huh? RBU yes. seven four double zero seven four one seven four zero two. So now what is the output of this CDS? Let's see. We know uh, it brings 18 records, huh? but uh, let's see this here also. Now it is called. Right click here, open with data preview. So we got 18 records. Okay, this is HSL and KSL information. Now we got 18 records. In this 18 records, we see there are some negative records. There are some positive records. Okay, now I am I am doing you know I am bringing my second data set. So in my second data set also I am using same where condition. It means this data set also will bring 18 records. Okay, but here I am going to add one additional condition. Okay, what is that additional condition? And HSL greater than zero. Now what will happen here? because we are using all this in uh, one let's keep it in brackets so this all acts as one and this is a second okay now whenever i provide this hsl greater than zero then what exactly it means out of this 18 records my second data set it consists of only these records which are positive hsl okay let's say these are nine records okay so my first set data set is 18 records and my second data set is 9 records which is a subset of my first data set. Okay, uh, if I try to execute now this uh, CDSU, let's try to execute. Because still I am performing union here. So because I am performing union, open with data preview. I am expecting 18 plus, uh, okay it was aggregated, data was aggregated, sorry. Let's remove this. Um, now, instead of union, I'm trying to give here accept. Okay. So now what system is going to trying to do? As per the accept definition, the intersection data must be removed from my output. It means what is my intersection? Records which are greater than zero 
are same in both my A and B data set. Right? So now I am expecting only um, uh, negative data on my output. Let's see. Right click, open with data preview. You see, I got only nine records. Uh, I got, you see, all the records are negative records. Here you can see on HSL, 8000 minus, 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 minus. Because positive records are part of data set B, which are matching between A and B. For that reason, it is fetching only negative records. So that is called accept. And then last one is intercept. Intercept means which are common between A and B. So we, what is common between A and B? Because here also I have greater than zero records and my first data set also contains greater than zero records. So when I use here intercept, then I must get only the positive records. Activate. Right click. Open with data preview. And if we see here, all these are only positive records. Okay, so that's it. So this is all about uh, union, except intercept. So on except, we exclude the uh, identical combination between the both. And on intercept, we bring only the matching records from A and B. On union, we are bringing data from both A and B. Okay, that's all for about in setup.